minute break time! And here's what we're going to make today. A jazzy jar! Look at it, it's beautiful! Now, to make one of these, you will need an old pot or jar with a lid like this one here, some coloured beads, some gloopy PDA glue, an old yeah, yeah. washing up sponge, and it's also a good idea to do this with an old tray underneath, as it can get a little bit messy. Now, do you think it's possible to make this jazzy jar in just one minute? Well, I think I can. Now, I'm going to have to be very quick, though, but don't worry. I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! Are you ready? Great! Let's make it in a minute! sponge put on some gloopy glue around the side of our jar and we're going to put it all the way around the side but not on this top edge here because that's where the lid goes good and now we're going to start putting on our beads we just sprinkle them on top like this you can use whatever color beads you like and don't worry if they fall all over the tray like this, because they fall on the tray and we can use them later let's put some green on here we go around there with the green and then some blue as well. Whoa, sprinkling! There we go. Like that. There we go. Put that there. And now I need to cover our lid with some glue as well. All around there. And some around the side. That's it. And then sprinkle a few more on. Put the lid. Some blue. And a few of those. And then if I put that on top of there, we've got a jazzy jar. And if you've got more than a minute, you can make all sorts of jazzy jars. You can try this. Try the multicolored jar. Or why not add some bigger beads to make a flowery pattern? Jazzy jars made in a minute. Why don't you have a go? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Cover a plastic jar with gloopy glue. Pour the beads onto the glue. And stick more glue and beads to the lid. Then leave it to dry and your jazzy jar is finished. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Bye!